I'm Ryan with Prudential Pest Solutions, and we're out here on a job site where there's a nest, a nice yellow jacket nest behind us here, um, right on top of a deck. Um, so we're going to need to treat that because it's obviously very dangerous to have a nest this size um, where there's going to be people. So I'm going to show you what to do and what not to do um, to remove a nest like this. Now the first step in any bee or wasp removal is to kindly ask them to leave. So let's try that. Hey ladies, would you mind leaving? You can't be this close to the house. Now very rarely, if ever, does that ever work. Okay, so we're gonna show you some treatment options. Now the first option that most people do is they're gonna take a can of Raid um, or wasp killer and they're just gonna spray it right in there. Um, the problem is, is that if they're not geared up with the proper gear, um, those yellow jackets are gonna come flying out of there with an alarm pheromone and uh, maybe swarm or attack the person. Um, so what we want to use is a combination of an aerosol and maybe even just a dust um, insecticide to treat that area. Um, it'll permeate the entire nest um, and it'll allow it to get on the workers. Now ideally you want to do this in maybe the very early morning or at night when we know most of the workers are in the house. Now as a pest control professional sometimes we can't always do that so we're here early in the morning um, to try to get as many of the, of the nest as possible um, to treat. So we saw here some of the some of the gear that we're going to need for this job. Um, I obviously use a bee veil um, that goes over top of my Penn State hard hat. Uh, this just keeps the bees out of my face. I'm a very firm believer in as long as you're calm, they're calm. Um, that goes with animals. It goes with insects. Um, you could see that I was very I was able to stand very close to that nest um, and not have them swarm me because number one I wasn't messing with it, but two because I'm calm. I'm not making erratic you know gestures like that. Let me show you what else I'm going to use here. Um, so we saw my bee veil. I just have some thick rubber gloves or thick leather gloves here that we're going to use. Um, so I have a pressurized um, insecticide here um, that we're going to inject into the nest. I have a dust, an insecticidal dust that we're going to put in, has a long residual. Um, and then we have a scraper here to remove the nest uh, once it's finally killed off and all the workers are dead. Um, so this is the equipment that we're going to use. Obviously before you use anything, make sure that you're you know, you read the label on the chemical and you know what you're using, um, and you're using it exactly as the label on the chemical is written. Um, so that means, you know, wear a respirator. If it says you need a respirator, wear gloves and long sleeves and all that kind of stuff. You can see here we're treating inside of that nest. And we're gonna get some of the workers too. It's got a pretty good reach. We're gonna see what that does. You can hear them, they're all pretty fired up. Um, and we'll see them start coming out of here. And again, you really want to leave a nest this size to maybe a professional because this is, this is a pretty good sized nest here. We can see them coming out of there pretty good. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, again, we're not flailing around, we're not making a lot of commotion for them. Um, we're just gonna treat that nest, uh, let, them, let a lot of these workers die off and then we'll uh, remove it then. Okay, so you can see we got them good and mad. So we're just gonna break open this a little bit more and treat into it. And you can see a lot of the ones that are flying around now uh, were the ones that were out foraging before. And they're a little fired up. Okay, so here's the remnants of the nest um, that we took out. And we can see here, if I flip this over, all that white those white little bulbs coming off of there are all the brood, right? So those are the new uh, wasps that are being born soon. Um, and you can see this was a couple layers thick. Um, here's more brood. Now this paper um, that they make here, you can see it's, it's a couple of layers thick too. Um, it's always impressive to me how they make that. Um, we can still see here, there's some, there's some uh, few of them left hanging around where the nest used to be. Um, and we're not too worried about them. They're gonna either come across the contact insecticide I put down, um, and then they're going to die that way. Now we could have used a dust as opposed to an aerosol. Um, the, the, the pros of the dust are is that it's just kind of one or two puffs right into the hole um, and the nest is going to be taken. Another thing on this brood is if I zoom in you can actually see like here's one hatch in here but you can see some of these other little you know larva stages of it. You can see it moving around like they were going to hatch in the next few days. Um, but again, this is why, uh, when you see these nests, sometimes it looks like, wow, just like overnight they got, 
they got huge. It's like uh, overnight I looked down and there was a, just a basketball or softball sized nest. Well, it's because, you know, if we saw how many, you know, bees we just killed now, here's all their, uh, all their progeny coming, the next generation coming up too. So, um, it's good to catch this one we did. Uh, we were able to resolve their problem and let them enjoy their deck outside. So the nest is treated and removed. Now you can see that I made it look easy, um, but that's because I've been doing this for a long time. And also, you know, what most people do is they freak out. Um, once you initially apply that insecticide, it's on. Okay, those bees and those wasps are going to start flying out of that nest and they're going to start defending their home, which is which what any of us would do as well. Um, so you got to make sure you have all your equipment there ready to go because you don't want what you don't want to do is you don't want to go half in, half to start and realize that you forgot something or you need something else because it's going to be game on. And I've seen those wasps come out and start swarming, um, defending their home. So remain calm, call a professional, and make sure you have all the stuff that you need there. Um, and I know that's not really in the right order. So um, if you need affordable yellow jacket control solutions and you live in Chester County in southeastern Pennsylvania, give Prudential Pest Solutions a call. I'll come out, we'll evaluate, we'll be able to treat and remove and make your home safe again.